That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? <laughs> Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? That's not contradict we'll itself. <laughs> good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And well. Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Man, it's been a while. I mean for me. For you, it's just, you know, next video. <laughs> Uh, it's been a while. It's been about two weeks. About two weeks? Week and a half? Somewhere around that. It's been a while since I actually recorded this. I recorded a bunch. And I had, I had to take a break. I couldn't continue. Not after what happened last episode. Not after watching what happened to Arthur. I couldn't keep recording this game. I had to take a break. But I'm back. Now I'm going to finish this game now. And then go from there. We'll see what happens next. I have a few ideas for the channel, but anywho, before we get into the game, well, back into the game. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe for more. Now, Maybe these two continue to argue as I try to remember the controls. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy, sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother with your books. Do I have? Nothing. I don't even have weapons. Books was that. You know, that dime novel or Boy Calloway and the men from the moon or whatever. Boy Calloway. I'll do my best to find better reading material on. Boy Calloway. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Yeah, I wonder why he likes King Arthur. Wonder why. <sighs> How far away am I from Valentine? I don't... Not Valentine. Strawberry? Yeah, long time. Question. Well, this t actually no. John wasn't there for that. That was Arthur and uh, Micah. Oh, we should be good then. Whatever the game says. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help wanted. Please help apply you, within. I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. <laughs> Milton? Out of every day, he chose Milton. Our boy, we was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, 
We need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Well, that was easier than I expected. Go to the doctor's office. I probably should go across the bridge. Man! Town looks kind of good. I haven't seen it in ages. Thank you, Doctor. Hey! <laughs> How you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. <laughs> it is, John. Oh, it is. <laughs> this is the way to That was sarcastic, Abigail. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Hang on. That did they get all of it loaded? Because that was rather quick. I actually managed to make it in time. How many crates did you carry at once? Of course. Um. Put down the compass below. The odds of me getting these goods there are undamaged. If you've seen my driving in this game. Follow the yellow line, okay. <sighs> Tightly peacefully back in this game. When am I gonna get robbed or ambushed by O'Driscolls? There's gotta be some O'Driscolls left, right? Surely I actually didn't finish them all off. Actually, the gang probably did disband. It's been, what, years? What did it say in the intro? Actually, hang on, really quickly. Map. So, oh wow, everything's still marked. I like how the prison island's the only place I'm not allowed to go along with Fort Wallace. Huh. Well, everything's still marked. Still can't believe he chose the name Milton. Like, I understand he can't use his real name. Sure, that makes perfect sense. Milton? You had, like, 30-plus names from this game alone that you could have chosen, and you chose Milton. Right down the road is all the guy had to say.
Out of curiosity, map, please. Um, definitely been here. As Arthur. Did I destroy this place, or did I just drive by it and not care about it? What's the break button? I don't remember what the break button is. I'm hoping the game breaks it for me. Is it R1? It's R1. Okay. Got some supplies for you? You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. <laughs> Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. Go easy on uh, Well, I don't exactly have... New horse type. Let's go. I don't exactly have weapons. That's my damn wagon. Oh, right. That is his wagon. Hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing. Get on with you! No! Whoa, whoa! You can't take a joke, mister! Tell Getty to take that off! Um. Oh, so that's what their plan was. Well, anywho, I guarantee how this works is I'm gonna fail because I took too long. Well, they got an apple and a bottle of whiskey, apparently. Great. Fun. Fantastic. I got the wagon back. So, about that uh, hired help you weren't very much interested in. Interested in it now? Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes <laughs> need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would've robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a... A little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Well, that was... 
simple ish. Now is when they find out they're lying about their names. Because here's the issue. When you have one person saying the names, if the other two don't really know the names, they may get that mixed up. Which could be really unfortunate. Also, episode one. How many episodes of the epilogue? I was told that this wasn't very long. Wait, I'm never against this. Wait, let me guess. Time limit. It's always time limit. Wait, I can lose supplies? How is that possible? How is it possible to lose supplies? Anyway, anything of interest in here? A few things, yeah. Might as well. But yeah, what about I, uh... But after, uh... I took a little break from the game, I asked one of my friends, um... That's played the game before. What exactly, uh... Like is in store for me now without like spoilers and he said I was pretty much at the end of the game. I was told nothing about this ha having more than one episode. Shave kit. Hang on, let's see. Oh. Three has always been my go-to. It feels weird playing as, uh, John. I've never played Red Dead 1, so this is actually my first time ever playing as John Marston. Anywho, what job do you have for me, sir? Because there's no way I don't have time for it, because we barely just started, it feels like. Well, that's off to a great start. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, nah, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir, just yeah, tell me what to do, and I'll get Jim. it done. Extra John, hard. Jim. Hey, hey, get over here, Mr. Dickens. Go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> hey, go make sure he does this. Realizing he just made himself have more work. Hey, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you be okay here. The look of, you this chose Milton? This <laughs> place is kind of... Here, you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real I didn't wise. kill anyone. Not much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ha hold on. I am fine with her being annoyed if I killed them. But also, John did nothing to them but just threaten them. And the biggest thing is, I was actually helping people. I understand she wants to lay low so, you know, um, Jack can at least have a decent life. I get that. But at the same time, 
Cut the man some slack. The cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> oh great. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around. Well, you know. <laughs> north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well... It ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I may put you out of the job. The cows. What about the cows out there? Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Okay. Now we're talking. Almost got a pail full. I don't think it's that easy in real life. I could be wrong. I've never done this personally, but okay. Whatever you say, game. I'll just have to agree with you. That's your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. Well, he, the bat bucket was full and he was still doing it. Stables. Sure. Come on, son. How old you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Twelve. Wasn't he like eight during the main story? I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Is it me or should he be slightly taller? We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm -hmm. It's called blending in, Lancelot. Blending okay. in. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. I got my okay. first weapon. Jack, let's let's go. Try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Oh, I just realized that what I'm doing. Of course. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. <laughs> Coming. Uh, I haven't had to do this since the beginning of the game. Where I had to deal with a gunslinger. Did, are they just cutting out the middleman? <laughs> they did. I would have done all of it. I don't care. Oh wait, there's still more to do. 
gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. I mean, Arthur had to deal with this while gunslinging, so. Oh. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Go to the house. Yeah, Lancelot. I we I thought you may like that one, considering your book, or did you want me to call Arthur? I don't think John could honestly call you Arthur. Also, where did his hat go? Where's the hat? I just remembered that. Why am I wearing this hat? Not that I don't like this hat, but why am I not wearing the correct hat? I want that hat back. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? No, won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. I like how the drawer is open because I looted the place. For once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. How many days later? I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> well, we got an upgraded hat. Three dollars. Oh wait, I got more quests. What did I fail? Time limit? Wait, no! I actually did it? Fill a bucket within 10 seconds. How do you fill that? Well, I mean, on to the next thing, I guess. Um, I have to do them both anyway. Which one's closer? They're both at the same place. I'll go do you first, considering you're the guy I've been working for this whole time. Why not? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? No. Not really. Can't Actually, yes. Fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. It sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. That's fair. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. I've built fences before in real life, so yeah, I kind of understand how this works. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there, we don't want it coming down. Good, now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now oh, the next rail. Yeah. <laughs> it's not rocket science, mate. Good. It's really not rocket science. That's it. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. More than a day's work? How many fences am I putting in? You're done. Okay. I, I, he's counting what I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm building a whole fence. 
I don't think I read the job description properly. And voila! I'm finishing the job. Oh, great. Hey, I'm already here. What do you need help with? No. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move I believe I've already met, just not introduced. Come on, move. Oh, that is not something you do. My fence! My fence! Oh, I didn't end well. <laughs> hey, get back here! <laughs> yeah, I have to fix that! Wait! John! I've seen you lo- 22 stamina? What? I'm gonna die because I'm trying to lasso it like the game told me to. I have an honor bar? I hit square! Don't you dare! I hit square! Calm down. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy. Calm down. Easy. Don't kill me. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. There, there. There, there. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. Oh, come on. You're lucky you didn't kill anyone. Got him, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Good to Thank hear. You, Mr. Milton. No my problem. Pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> he just got my head. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Well, I guess that was a day's work. I gotta go fix my fence now. Thanks for that, Mr. Bull. Hang on, does every... <laughs> Why was there a curtain clipping into that window? I saw that! I saw that in the corner over there! I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. The doctor's office? The doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Made three dollars. Do I have time? I have, should have plenty of time for whatever the next one is. Let me guess. Avoid getting hit by the bull. Yep. Okay, yet again, how do you fail that? I'm not against the challenges being, like, uh, easy or anything, but also at the same time, it's just, how do you not get the fence fixed in time? I have to level up stamina again. Oh, uh, so I'm going to have to level up my health again? Mission's over here. Alright, what's going on? I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? 
Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Uh, good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. What's going on? Missing horses? Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Because since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I, ain't much I fixed a the fence. Oh, hey. I've cleaned the barn. Hey, maybe them I've milked a cow. After all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, I swear Abe better not get shot and killed. In town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay, then. Enough All said. Right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. I actually enjoy Abe. He better not get killed. Buddy, that horse is like ten times the size of you. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, yes. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Hey, now. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Oh, hey. Easy now. <laughs> is this my new horse? Easy, boy. Oh, Are you my new horse? Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. I'll be in the corral, man. Tire out Jeremiah. Okay. Don't. D please move. Well, tire out the stamina. Okay, that's easy. Did it all the time with old horse. I miss horse. Come on. Why did horse have to die? I knew Arthur's death was coming. I didn't know horses was coming. Don't mind me. I'm just running in circles. I took the long way. Uh, I don't know about that. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. <laughs> Stay calm. Don't go through that fence. The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? That's fair. You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, 
Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Oh, great. It's a Cornwall all over again. If Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, you have me here. I'm a gun... I mean, I'm a, I'm a ranch hand. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Is this actually how you train horses in real life? I don't know a lot of this. I don't know if it all... I don't know how this works. You I done yet. Mountain? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. Uh, what am I doing again? I honestly completely forgot. Uh, are you coming? I'm here. I can't sprint. You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? No. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> Not at all. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. Slip. Get a hold of it again. Reach around in there. And pull. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Am I supposed to spam X or hold X? Oh, I lost it. Hold. I'm supposed to spam X. You, you need to tell me these things, game. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but... I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Well, uh, I can already tell where this is going. Downhill fast. Waiting for Dutch to come out of nowhere and say, John, I have a plan. We gotta go to Tahiti. You just need to have some faith in Tahiti. Oh, look, the horse is there now. Hey, John. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our <laughs> chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. He is doing this for you. And for him. How's he been? How do you think he's been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. Well, I have an extra yeah. horse. We can go for sure. a ride. Take him out, please. I have an extra horse. We can go for a Come ride. On, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Um, anyone else see Jack bug out for a second? What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Where are we going? How are you doing? Fine. Can we go home? 
No. You're... Stay calm. You've well, ridden horses before. Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream... Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Hold on. Did I, I don't remember the Hold kid's name. Brains. Did he say he was okay, too big for that down. horse? Use your leg. But yeah, he's basically the same height and size as Jack. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. He may get bucked off the horse. Oh, I kind of want to see that. <laughs> Does that make me bad? Does that make me a bad person that I want to see that? Let's go a little faster. Come on. Faster? Yeah, come on. This is not much faster. Hey, look, it's that stream, that little creek that I've been to multiple times with a different character. Character I miss. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. <laughs> yeah, this game's oddly peaceful. Whoa. How long until it goes horrendously wrong? Keep at it. Hey, faster. Go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Where's the stream? I am assuming you mean this. Is this the right way? Can you move a little faster? Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Ah. Uh. Well, they did say go back to the path, but this is... Okay, it's a race! Remember, this is a race! You said race. You said race. This is what happens when you say the word race. I win. I don't like losing. Uh, I've left him behind. Hey, he's not too far back there. I mean, I could just shortcut this whole thing and go straight back to the ranch, but I'm gonna stick to the road. He's shortcutting. He's cheating. And I win. And he teleports. Well ridden, son. And we won. teleport yet again. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. Is he mad I won? Nice gunshots. Nice gunshots. You hear that? He don't like trespassers. That's what I said. Well, does he like dead 
bodies on his property? No, no, come on, mister. Found my revolver. Boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> that is not the direction I came from. Careful. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, get him, Come on, get him. I'll kick his head in, boss. Uh, I couldn't uh. stop him, Jim. It's like that. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Oh, he's licking you, boss. <laughs> Getty spends on women, saves on hands. You need help? I'm doing this as slow as possible. Get off that man! Get off him! He was first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife? That gun is not in the holster. That revolver was oh, not in the holster. Oh, no, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to that revolver you. is still floating. See you again. That and revolver you is floating. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Can I take his hat? Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? Which you? You told me to help right? people. Plenty. You told me to start to help people. That's literally your line at the beginning of this thing. You told me to help people. That's me helping. Or do you want me to just help you and Jack? John's not being a storybook hero. He just did the right thing. He just genuinely did the right thing. I'm sorry, but no. John, I guess the trick is to decide by who. Old habits. Old habits. Let me guess. Help. Oh, I could have done that if I just kept spamming circle. <laughs> I just wanted to make the fight go on longer to see if the boy, his boy, see if he'd admit he lost, defeat him without taking a hit. That's awesome. You won't hear any of it. Not Mister. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. And on that note, I think this is the perfect place to end this episode. This is not at all where I thought this was going to go. Like, I'm being dead honest. I had no idea where this was the epilogue was going to go, but I was not expecting to do anything that I've done today. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I guess next episode will... Oh, I just realized I have a go as a quest. I'm not doing that first, not after what she just said. I understand she wants to keep them on the down low, but also at the same time, does she want the place to get shot up? Does she want people to die? Does she want that want John just to stand there and watch the whole place burn? Like I get where she's coming from. But there is no way she looks at someone who is attacking someone that's an armed man attacking someone that's unarmed and going, You should not have helped him. You should have not fallen into your old habits. Just trying to help people here. I have done my rant. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Goodbye and good luck everyone.